welcome to my kitchen and another episode of what's for dinner it is a monday night and you would not expect that i would be making ribs for dinner but i am and you know why because i have this fabulous pressure cooker and i'm going to put it to the test i've been wanting to make ribs in here since i bought it i had a couple of racks of baby backs out in my freezer so i took them out this morning while we were working in the garden let them thaw out and now we're going to make these ribs So what I have here is two completely thawed slabs of baby backs. They are pork ribs and they were about three and a half pounds each. So I have about seven pounds of ribs. This is going to feed my family dinner. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're going to take the ribs and we're going to kind of stand them up. Um, yeah. Right, see how that, you do that? You like that. This is how I saw them. They instructed you to do it. So, whoops. Okay. Just like that. You can see I could fit a healthy amount more ribs mm -hmm. in that vessel. Let me... Okay, what I'm going to do for our liquid is I have a couple of these jugs of apple cider that we bought right after Christmas because they were clearing them out. And, uh, you know, apple cider is perfect mm -hmm. for, you have to put some liquid in here to produce steam. So, I'm going to put in my pressure cooker now. Pop the top on. Make sure that it's on seal. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That was too easy. It was. It's it's very easy. I love this thing. I'm having too much fun with it, actually. Okay. Meat. 12 minutes. I think I'm actually going to make it 15. And that's all I have to do. Now, when this comes up to pressure, it will start counting down. When it's time to come and um, reveal it, then I will be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, our time is up and it has depressurized. And... These are ready to go in the oven. They are fork tender. And it smells really amazing in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what I am going to do is brush these with some of my sauce. Yeah, cool you wanna, no, we're just gonna brush them and I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And you want, when you cook them in the pressure cooker like this, you don't want to cook them with the sauce because the sauce is all going to go down into whatever liquid that you put um, in there with it. And it's just going to be all watery and gross and you don't want to do that. So they're ready to put in the oven. And what I didn't tell you before is my baking sheet is lined with aluminum foil and I have the ribs up on a baking rack just to facilitate the crusting process make it a little easier okay here we go in they go we're going to leave them in there about 15 minutes and i'll be back when it's time to take them out these are ready to come out of the oven <laughs> look at that mm -hmm. i don't know i think they look pretty good how about you i need it let me get these off of the pan and we'll meet you back over at the counter and we'll cut into one and we will force Rick to try one for you. I okay. have to. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to cut these up. They're like butter. Just like butter. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I just want you to see something. I mean, you don't really even need to. These are just falling apart. You could have pulled those apart if they weren't so hot. So. Mm. 
Wow. Mm-hmm. Pretty incredible, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to eat. Look at that. It's time to eat, babe. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Okay, so that's how you make incredible ribs in pressure cooker. And you've got to try this. Amazing. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. We're gonna go eat. Till next time. We'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!